Today on the show, we're gonna be going through my GM mode. We're gonna go through it a little bit deeper, giving you more insights, more details on the mode, what to expect from it. Let's go. Oh, it's a great day here, isn't it? Welcome to Assemble, I'm Matt. I'm so excited. This is episode number two for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, supporting the show. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let's get into my GM mode. 2K22 dropped their big giant reveal trailer. I'm sure more and more details are gonna drop as the days progress, but this is going to be very, very exciting. I'm excited to talk about my GM mode. The trailer gave us a little bit of information regarding it and a few more details. We're going to be able to select from four different GMs for our my GM mode. We got Adam Pierce, Sonia Deville, Shane McMahon, and Stephanie McMahon. Now it had been brought up previously that you will be kind of rising through the ranks in your my GM mode. So if you are going to select Stephanie McMahon as your GM, you will be starting off at just doing like indie shows in the beginning to then move up all the way to raw so they are still showing off that in the trailer you have the two promo slots i have been wondering if we're going to be able to actually change these out and put in maybe additional matches but they showed off basically the exact same sequence again so it does look like we're only going to be able to have three matches going on in the card, but we'll have to wait and see until the game is released. We get more info, but right now, again, they're showing off that we have two promo slots and three matches in the game. They are going to continue the star rating when it comes to my GM and we've had them in previous 2k games. They're integrating it here in the my GM mode. You can see based on the trailer that we have broken down here that you do actually get your star levels between like 1, 1 1.5, 2, and 1.5 star ratings based on the matches. You're also getting feedback when it comes to your matches and the card that you're producing too. So like they've written here, your opener and main event were highlights of your show as they should be. Focus on rising the quality of your matches for higher show results. And with that star rating, it is actually showing you it's competing between Raw and SmackDown to see which show actually was performing better. That has me really, really interested because if it's going to be online, as we speculated yesterday on the show, if there is an online component, I really like that because it's going to show you the different star ratings and which show is performing better. If it's simply offline and it's just simulating it for you, I still really like it because it gives you that sense of competition between your brand and another brand and it doesn't feel like you're just kind of doing your own thing solo. You can actually see what Raw, SmackDown, NXT are doing, what they're performing, how they're performing. It's all very, very exciting. They are bringing rivalries over to my GM mode as you can see between Dana Brooke and Tamina. You've got a rivalry there at the bottom where it says Brooke and Tamina level one. So it's gonna be able to give us different level ratings of the rivalries, probably similar to what they've done in universe mode where they can kind of, you know, be able to increase the level uh, and how like kind of high the actual rivalry is to see how in depth it is, uh, if it's going to be kind of more intense or not. So if it's at a level one, I assume it's at a base level and then they're gonna work their way up if they continue it for several months or a very long-term rivalry. That's good too though, guys, because if we're gonna get long-term booking that we wanna be able to create, which is so very exciting, but if we're gonna be able to do something like Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley going up against each other, then we can actually set that up for several months. And as the feud goes on, hopefully it means that it'd be worth more money because it's gonna get a higher rating because the rivalry be going on for so long. I'm curious to see how my GM is really going to kind of expand and what else it will be able to do and it'll be able to show us and how it kind of all intertwines together. The other thing to notice is detail at the very top as it's showing off SmackDown as your show, you've got to be able to have the option to toggle left and right uh, to be able to navigate through it. Now this could just be to show us the different menus uh, throughout your own GM or it's gonna allow us to toggle between shows. Based off of how they have it laid out here between focusing on SmackDown and you got L1 and R1 right there at the top, it kind of looks like I'm going to be able to toggle and flip over to the Raw show and to see how it's performing. Maybe it's going to give us the options to actually manage multiple shows at once. I don't know, but that has me curious to see what those menus are going to do. So the question to all of you, who's going to be your GM? Who are you going to use? Adam Pierce, Sonya Deville, Shane McMahon, Stephanie McMahon. I like that they're introducing everybody. I like that they're not focused to one single brand like Stephanie McMahon is not specifically assigned to SmackDown. They kept it generic so that it's not pigeonholing it. So you can actually feel like you're going to take that GM, you're going to run with them, 
and you're going to manage your show and you're going to rise up through the ranks to be able to kind of expand upon it. I'm really interested to see how my GM is really going to turn out. We should be getting gameplay footage soon on it, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited about my GM? There's a lot to unpack here and there's tons of content coming. I'm going to have more details for you guys all week long. Community creations. We just did the episode discussing every single edition of the game. So go check that one out. But we've got a ton of stuff to cover here on this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.